Hey guys, how do you deal nowadays with the fact that women have so many options that when she's not with you, she is on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Tinder. How do you keep her from getting distracted? How do you keep her mind on you? That's what Rob and I are gonna talk about in today's video. Hey guys, I'm Bobby Rio and this is Rob Judge. And today we're gonna talk about how in this day and age, right, when women have so many options, when we have so many options, how do you effectively play the game, especially when she's not around? Yeah, I mean, that's a thing. The minute you pick up a smartphone, there's just so many options and things vying for your attention. Yeah. It's like even when you go online, it's like pop-ups are coming up. Yeah. You know, you're on Facebook and there's clickbait, there's, there's ads, there's all this stuff that is specifically tailored to your interests. So it's very difficult. It's almost like as, as we get more and more technically, you know, savvy and more, you know, com- uh, you know, more more complex in terms of the different options we have. It's almost like our our attention spans get shorter and shorter and shorter, and especially when it comes to dating. Yeah, it's like it, the way the way that you can kind of think about it, right? Is uh, depending on how old you are, right? Me and Robert are in our, our, our mid to late thirties. You go back ten years of dating, and you meet a girl. Maybe you meet her at a party. Maybe you work with her. You get her phone number, and you know you know you're not going to maybe see her for a week, right? Um, but during that week you kind of know she's thinking about you, right? Because you got her number, you called her, and now even though you're not gonna see her until another week before you see her, you kind of, in, in your mind, you're like, okay, you know, maybe there's some guy at work that, that she flirts with. But other than that, there really wasn't that much competition back then. But nowadays, like Rob said, there's so much stuff in her face. Even if she got you got her number on a Friday night, the minute she gets home and she's on her phone, some other guy is, is hitting her up. Her ex-boyfriend is telling her she looks cute in some Instagram pic. There's so many distractions. So how do you, what we call the pause button, how do you recreate the pause button? Yeah, and just to clarify, when we say pause button, uh, just to go back for another uh, old school analogy, back in the day, you used to play Nintendo, you're, 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 you know, you're playing a video game, you wanna go get a snack, make yourself a sandwich in the other room, you hit the pause button, you go in the other room, you make that sandwich, you come back, nothing's changed. It's not like that anymore in dating. It's, there is no pause button. You go in the other room to make a sandwich and uh, Mega Man's getting fucked by uh, Super Mario when you come back, you know? So you don't want to leave it to, oh, I'll wait a couple days or, oh, you know, I'm sure I'm the only guy talking to her. Even though guys don't necessarily might not, they hear that and it's illogical. They're, I don't care, even, even a moderately cute girl, any sort of girl you're talking to, you're not the only guy on her phone. You're not the only guy I'm um, talking to her. You know, like, like 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 Bobby said, it's just this crazy. It's like a nightclub, like a a, a, a smartphone. Smart, it's yeah. like it's like the modern nightclub, and, and it sucks. It sucks. So, like Bobby said, let's talk about how to fix that. How to make sure that when you do meet a girl that that, that you really like, that's high quality, that you want you want you want to see again, and you don't want her to just get you know blown away by by uh, you know the whims of social media and, and online dating and that kind of thing. How do you keep her around? Well, let's let, what you don't do, right? Because this is what a lot of guys do. They're like, oh shit, I'm not going to see her, and they hear Rob or I say, you got to stay in her mind, and then they mistakenly think, well, that means I got to text her more often. I got to be on her social media channel, liking her Instagram pics and telling her she looks good, and then I got to be on this channel and I got to like respond to her, you know, her Snapchat stories, and I got to, and that's not how you stay on her mind. That's how you blend in with all her other fans. We call them fans because they're the guys pumping up her ego, telling her she looks good. That's not how you stay on your, her, her mind. You gotta do it, and, and Rob's gonna give you kind of a, the overview of it. You gotta do it in an indirect manner because if you, if you tell somebody, think about me, think about me, think about me, all they're gonna wanna do is like, I don't wanna think about you. We have this natural tendency to resist something, right? If a girl's pressuring you for a relationship right away, you automatically go, oh, I don't know if I want this. It's the same with women. If you're trying, if she senses that you're trying to get her attention, she's gonna block her attention off from you. So how do you get her attention? Yeah, that's a great point. And I'm glad you made that uh, the stalker disclaimer there. And, <laughs> it, well, and, and it's funny, because I would have assumed the same thing if I was watching this sort of video, even you know, 10, 15 years ago, if I was living in this day and age. But I actually stumbled on this kind of accidentally. Um, I had a friend come into town. My friend's a, a big John Legend fan. And him and, and his wife actually were supposed to go to this concert. And he, he got really, really good seats. I mean, like front row, John Legend. 
Um, and he was all excited to go. And then his wife got really sick, like pneumonia. And she's, but I mean, he had these tickets, and she's like, "Oh, you know, just go, just go." So um, last minute, he called me. I went, and it was a, it was an amazing concert. It was a, it was a little uh, questionable that I was going with a guy. I was sitting in the front row, like, like you know, you see all these couples and John Legend's like serenading everyone, like like oh, just tell the person next to you you love them. And then it's like uh, me and this dude. So a little a little weird, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it made for some really good social media content. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm at this really cool concert, you know, this iconic singer. So I took a, um, a video and posted it on my on my Instagram and, I, and, well, and then pushed it through to my Facebook so that, you know, um, you know, girls that I was talking to or girls that I uh, was kind of seeing would all see this. And I put my phone away and, you know, didn't think about it. I had it on silent, enjoyed the rest of the concert. And when I came out, I couldn't believe the response I had. I had all these texts, uh, missed calls. All these girls liking it, commenting, and girls were actually getting it to fight with each other, with each other on in the comment section. I, um, and I realized that that's the sort of way to stay on a girl's mind because when they see me at in the front row of, a, of this romantic John Legend concert and they don't see who I'm there with, that's when you're on a girl's mind. That's when the world, the hamster on the wheel is is really starting to starting to go and in, in, in she's starting to get carried away with, oh, who is he there with? Oh my God. You know, I thought I had this guy. You know, I thought like I had the guy figured out. And the thing is, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was there with a the dude, you know, and I was just enjoying a John Legend concert. But just by igniting it's like it's almost like you give her this blank canvas and she's the one mm. who painted the whole picture you know of, of what was going on in that situation yeah so let me let me just walk you through that because it was really good and and, and i've actually forwarded that john legend video that he posted to a couple of my coaching clients who need it like a little weapon to use and they got just the same results and the reason it's effective right it's not if, if you go on facebook right and you go out to a bar and you post a picture of you and this hot chick, right? And you're standing there with her and you got your beer and you're looking at the camera. Every girl looking at that goes, who is that girl? Like she's probably like, you know, he, he, he's doing this either, either they think you're doing it to make them jealous if, if they're smart or they think like, oh, they'll, they'll, they'll dissect that girl and be like, oh, she's not even that cute anyway. Or they'll think, oh, she is really hot. I don't have a chance with him because he's probably with her. And you've kind of closed the loop, right? You always want to leave the loop open, right? Open loop is a concept of when you open a loop, the longer it's open, the more attention you have. So if you close the loop by by showing the girl, then it's like, okay, game over. He's with a girl at the concert. I guess he's not into me. When you leave that uncertainty, that curiosity there, now she wonders, who was he at that concert with? I, I can't imagine him going there with one of his guy friends. But, you know, if he was there with a girl, he probably would have mentioned her or tagged her so so now she's going back and forth right now she has this unanswered question in her mind so now when all these other guys are liking her instagram and telling her how pretty she is she's not paying as much attention to them because her mind is on you these are the things that you really need to be aware of right you got to be aware that everybody gets really overwhelmed with social media and they think oh man i wish it didn't exist i you know it sucks these girls have so many options yes it sucks that women have so many options but when you know how to use them to your advantage you have to realize the endless amount of options and opportunity you have to make women think whatever you want them to think right we're not talking about lying rob did not lie one bit lying i'm totally against lying i think it's you know, if you if you're making shit up, it's cheesy, right? It's it's gonna get called out. You're gonna look like a loser because. But when you when you when you control perception through what you're doing, you're just controlling perception. That's like it's like you know it's like Hollywood, right? Hollywood controls perception. All you're doing is you're cre- you're, you're 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 making all your online assets like your lone mini Hollywood, where you're controlling the narrative. That's a skill you want to be master. And here's why you want to master it. Because Rob and I have noticed, right? We've been coaching this, uh, both of us now. I'm on 11 years. I think he's on... Yeah, 10 years. 10 years. And so many changes have taken place recently in what we're seeing. We both coach guys, guys who pay us a lot of money to work individually. And we're seeing that things have dramatically changed because of things like Facebook, because of dating apps and Tinder. So Rob put together, because this is actually his specialty, um, a, a little longer video you can find it. I'm, it's, it's too long to get into uh, where he really walks you through the new rules, right? What we just laid out was sort of a mini rule. There's new rules that you really need to be following in this new hookup culture. That's what we're in right now. It's, it's not, it's not 
it's not the dating landscape of 10, 15 years ago. We're in a hookup culture. I suggest you watch the video. You can find it at a link below or at endofmen.com. And don't let the name, well, actually let the name scare you a little bit. Endofmen.com <laughs> because things are getting really, really different nowadays and you have to be aware of it. Any final thoughts? Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and that's the thing is that just by, once you figure out what these rules are, you can put in less effort, do less work. I mean, I, I love this. I mean, it was a little bit of a learning curve at first, but once you figure this stuff out, you get dating working for you and not the other way around. Yeah. So check it out. End of date, endofmen.com. Watch that video and learn the new rules of dating.